Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to New Frontier. It is the morning of day three. I've got some skill points to spend here this morning. Four of them. Let's go over to strength and put a point into minor 69er and a point into mother load. Now let's go over to agility, put a point into agility so we can put another point into deep cuts. All right, now let's head over to Hugh and take another tier one job. Hopefully the last one so we can get our horse and be on our way. What's up, Hugh? Nothing? Well, that's how I feel in the mornings too sometimes. Don't worry about it. Here, I got some shit for you. 4,000 coin. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a water filter. We got to do it. Now, uh, I want a cooking grill so we can grill up some meat. And can I afford all this ammo? I can't. Nice. 66 coins to spare. That's all you're going to buy. I'll let you show yourself out. Dude, I just spent like 4,000 coin with you. It's not good enough, you greedy bitch. Is that the dock? That is the dock. Nice. We'll go do that in a sec. First, let's uh, try not to alert this bear. And put the grill in here. Grab our meat out of here. Uh, grilled meat. 22 minutes. There we go. Get that cooking. Let's throw the water filter in here for safe keepings. And uh, let's be on our way. Yeah, I'm glad I looted this doc at the end of the last episode. I had a feeling he might send us here for a job today, considering how close it is. And now we can go loot it again. Hopefully it is the last tier one. Because then we'll get a nice early start on the day with our horse. Go and try and find a town, place to live. Let's see if we can be sneaky here. Because even though it's a small dock, there's a lot of zombies. So the more we can take out quietly, the better. Well, shit. Oh, at least we got her. Morning, ma'ams. Let's play a little game of stabby face. I win. Hey, buddy, what's your favorite candy? Now and ladle. Oh, I, I just scalped the man with the ladle. I don't think that's ever been done before. My ladle's got a chain around it now. It adds to the fun. And damn it, is it fun. Almost makes me sad that we're knife guy. Should have been ladle guy. I didn't know. I didn't know how fun it was going to be. Ooh, here we go. Uh, what's that? Vitamin. I'm assuming if you want to get better with a ladle, it's the same as the club, probably. Pummel beat. But whatever. We'll continue using the ladle as a backup weapon, but I'm going to continue specking into Knife Guy just because that's the way I'm doing it. I thought that bird was going to fall off the dock. There's another one right over here. Done. Oh, that one did fall off the dock. That's okay. We'll just harvest this one then. Oh, cooling mesh mod. That's going to help in the desert. Rubaboo. Rubaboo? What the fuck is Rubaboo? Ate some weird shit in the old west, huh? Give me that damn ammo pile. There we go. Another wheel. Beautiful. Some repair kits and oil shale. Let's put that Grave Digger mod on the shovel. Take this out of here, put that in there, and we'll put the Grip mod on the Bone Knife. I don't care what folks say. About well, I probably should be taking the gunpowder, but I'm taking the shotgun shell, so unfortunately, we're going to have to do another one. Yeah, let's do this. Good deal. Oh, one shot with the bone knife. Kenny just falling apart quicker than his life did when he started smoking meth. We got a rifle, martyrs here, a blacksmith. That looks interesting. Oh, a bookstore. We got a hote. Good old-fashioned hote. Gotta have a hote in your town. And that's where the job is, at that barn. Damn, slow down, lady. Why are we getting feral zombies already? That's not cool. All I got is a fucking ladle and a bone knife and a pipe pistol. I ain't ready for that shit. Yeah, I see him. 
We're going to get them. And then we're going to do the bookstore, and then we'll do the barn. Got him. Got a skill point to spend. Let's put that into a whirlwind. That's going to make us 10% faster with knife attacks. Oh, you see how fast I am, big boy? Way too fast for your big ass. Oh, son of a bitch. Vehicle book, pistol peep book, uh, shooting targets in the legs makes them not have legs. And seed crafting, and what's in here? Whoops. Oh, I can search this wagon. Let's see what's in the wagon. Brass and iron. All right, now let's pop this open here. Just some wood. All right, we're going in this way, if I remember correctly. This should be the room with the stash. And we'll just grab what we can, kill all these zombies that are mad, and then head over to the job that we got to do. Still early. Seven in the morning. Making good time. Why don't you poke your head through that hole there? No, you're too short. Fine. I'll open the door a bit more then. There we go. He dead. Get down over there. Got a crawler too. Let's pump this open. All right, come get it. Dead. Dead. One more. Got him. Okay. Fuck. Knife guy. Here we go. Salvage tool crafting. Big headers. No help there. Rifle book. And another knife guy book. Can make a level two ladle now. Might have to do that. Machine gunner. Drum magazines, we can make a level 5 bone knife now. Explosives book, handgun book, tools digest. We can make a level 3 pipe revolver. Oh, damn it. Another machine gunner book. Automatic weapons uh, have 20% less degradation. We can make a level 1 hammer, but I'll probably wait on doing that until we can find ourselves a better axe. Otherwise, what's the point? All right, uh, I guess we're done here. That was a nice little quick grab. Let's fire up this job, get it done, and hopefully be done with the tier ones. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, up here. Where are you at, puppy? Here he is. Oh, shit. Oh, got him. Very nice. Back up, Skinny Pete. Damn. A lot of fucking zombies in there. I think this mod is going to be a little harder than I think it's going to be. They really load up zombies into these POIs. I'm curious to see, you know, what the tier 5 POIs are going to look like here. Because, you know, obviously there's no skyscrapers or anything like that. All the modern buildings have been removed. She dead. Hey, he, he's eating my snake. Get your fucking dirty mouth off my snake. Oh, stamina. Nice. Shit. Got her. Bow hunters. Sell those spear parts. I've been finding a lot of those bow hunter books, and I haven't even put a point into archery yet. Okay, we clear. Looks that way. Some stone. Ammo pile. Shotgun shells, another chain mod. Can probably just sell that. Food. Murky water. Might as well grab this stone. Okay. Ladle. Let's make a level two. Up. Oh, we're short on iron. Need a little more iron to make one. There's a little iron. Not enough, though. Horseshoe mod will disable self-healing from radiated hostiles for 90 seconds. Oh, so that's basically a uh, rad remover. 
That'll do it. Hey, what do we got? Uh, shotgun shells, 5090 sharps. That cobblestone could come in handy, but we can make cobblestone. I'm going to take the rifle ammo. There it is, baby. Wild West horse. That's what I want. I don't even care what else you got. Okay, let me sell you some shit here. What is this? Eliminate horde contract. Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess we just got it. Uh, we got some more monies. Let's buy this ammo here. And we'll hold on to the rest. Okay, special job. Where's this new trader at? To the west. That's kind of the direction I planned on heading in. There it is. Well, I was thinking about going this way. Instead, we'll go this way. Hopefully, that's uh, that trader's in like a town and not just out here in the middle of nowhere like Hugh is. Let's get the horse put down. Oh, yeah. Look, and I'm just itching to get moving. How much uh, storage space do you have? Holy shit, that's like mini bike storage right there. Dude, that's sweet. We can definitely carry all of our stuff between our inventory and the horse's inventory. What's the horse's name going to be? No name? I don't know. You guys decide. How about that? You guys name the horse. So comment whatever you think the horse's name should be, and the one that gets the most likes or the one that I like the most, that'll be the name. I just tossed the land claim block because it only costs like six stone to craft one of those, so we can make another one when we get to wherever it is we're going. All right. Take this and that. Turn that off. Take that. Cancel that. Take this shit. And uh, we're good to go. Uh, let's just read this shit, see what happens. Okay, settlers. There's an infected horde out there up to no good. A sizable reward awaits any settler who takes care of it. Visit the local trader for supplies and instructions. Good luck. Okay. So... This trader? Oh, there's a... There's an exclamation point. Why is there a green check? Um... Hold on. <laughs> That's weird. What you must think you're pretty XP? Now. Wood, uh, cobblestone, so a flagpole. Oh, those are the, must be the supplies that I need. Right? It says quest completed. Oh no, quest started. Eliminate the horde. Alright. Um you know what? <laughs> I'm not worried about that right now. I'm not in a place to be fighting a horde anyway. We gotta find a home. Damn, would you look at this? Holy ship. That's a lot of ship. It's tier five. <laughs> tier five. That's what tier five POIs look like in the old west. Hey, there's some crates right here. Well, don't mind if I do. Machete part. And tree resin. Well, as much as I want to check this out, we're not really in a position to do that now. Like I said, we got a ladle, a bone knife, and a pipe pistol. Look at this. A big old river boat over here. I don't know what this is. Seems like another big POI. Oh, sawmill. That's a sawmill. Well, we're definitely going to come back to this area because I certainly want to check out that giant ship. But look at this river boat. How's it just floating in the water like that? Is there support underneath? Let's have a look. Oh, well, can't really see anything with this fog, but for a split second, I saw something. And it didn't look like there was any support. If it's just floating there, and we're on the riverboat when the horde shows up, won't they just, like, accumulate underneath the boat? That might be a... Good way to cheese the horde if we want to. I'll think about that. We're definitely going to come back this way, but for now, let's keep working our way towards the trader here. I can see glimpses of the uh, desert biome. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, and it looks like it might be a pretty big town over here. Not really crazy about moving to the desert just yet, though. I don't know if we're ready for that. 
Man, look, we're overheating already. You know there's going to be more feral zombies here. It's just going to be more crazy in general. I don't even have any fucking shoes yet. <laughs> you know? And our weaponry is not that great. Maybe we should kind of stick with the pine forest for now. Until we get a little more geared up. Oh, well, there are some shoes. Okay. We got some armor on our feet now, at least. Cotton? I don't need it. Brass and a bone. Uh, I already have a paintbrush. I'll sell that one. Steel and some iron. Gunpowder, tree sap, more iron. Pistol peat book. 38 short colt weapons degrade slower. Was this a cement mixer? That's what it is. Nice. Forged ahead. Still haven't unlocked the forge yet. Working towards that. There's another one. Mm, no luck. And no room in our inventory. Alright, let's go see the old man. Actually, let's go see if we can shove any of this stuff in the horse. Well, thank you for your monies, old man. And your paper. Oh, look at this. I can use this stove if I want. That's pretty cool. Wipe that smirk off your face. 1100 XP. Job, you can have my paintbrush, down. and that's Got it. Oh, I was only able to buy three of them. It's better than nothing. Oh, you got some decent stuff. I wouldn't mind living near wrecked. There it is. We can craft a forge now. That's good. Yeah, finding a place near here or building a place near here sounds like a good idea, just not right now. I think we need to spend a little more time in the pine forest, gearing up and leveling up. Got some zombies out here. There we go. Yeah, we are severely overheating right now. We are sweltering. Not good. We need to make ourselves a poncho or find a duster or some shit. We need much better clothes and much better armor. And definitely better weapons before we come back here. But you know, before we leave, I would like to find a coyote real quick because coyote is on our list of animals we gotta kill. There's a buffalo. Holy shit. Well, I'm not fucking with that thing right now. That thing will probably kill us. Well, we got a boar over here, and that is also on our list of animals to kill. Oh, he's mad. No oh, shit. Run, no name. All right, it's pistol time. Oh, <laughs> he turned around real quick when he saw the gun. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Is that the feral chicken? It's got to be. Oh, shit. It's got some reach. Ow, you little bastard. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb right now and say that this is my favorite overhaul mod I've ever played. Oh, my God, another one. Where is it? I don't know. Just grab this little shit and get the fuck out of here. Dude, did you see that little bastard? That's hilarious. Uh, well, let's just head back east then. Get out of the desert for now. Guess we're not going to find a coyote. Oh, I just heard one. Nice. That did it. Hunter achievement quest. Oh, now we got to go after a wolf, a doe, a bear, and a mountain lion. That's fun. All right. Eventually, we'll get them all. Well, this sawmill is a tier 5 POI. I really don't feel like running through there right now. It's past hour 15. What is this right here? The Slip It In Cat House? Well, I guess we're going to live in a whorehouse for now, then. That's perfect. Settling up at the Slip It In. Oh, yeah. It's going, we're going to slip into the slip it in. <laughs> Look, there's even a place to tie up our horse. This is fucking perfect. I don't know if we're going to live here permanently, but we're definitely staying here tonight. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, howdy, ma'ams. Y'all work here? You brought your friends with you, did you? Oh, shit, we got a little wandering horde here. Man, everybody's showing up at the Slip It In. <laughs> well, well, there's nothing else to do in the Wild West. It's like it. That's all you can do. Fucking ride your horse, shoot your guns, and slip it in. Those are your only options. I guess everybody's choosing to fucking slip it in right now. Shit. Oh, I can't wait to get a better knife. I can't believe we've been fighting with a bone knife for three days straight. It does work. I mean, I've gotten a few one-hit kills with the bone knife. Obviously, that's because we're putting points into, you know, knife guy or whatever the fuck the knife perk is. Keep forgetting. Yep, put that away. Oh, shit. Getting taken from behind. Had to slip it in. <laughs> that was not in my plans. Get out of here, bitch. Uh, that's two loot bags that have dropped. Can't forget to grab them. Look at all these damn zombies. Now, let's get up here real quick. Jump. Okay. Take a quick breather. Damn. Well, nicest thing about blade weapons is the bleeding damage. Eventually, they just die on their own. I think you get that with the spear, too, though. I'm gonna drink that coffee right now. Oh, we got a piano in here. Which actually does play music. I'm not gonna do that, though, because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, and I don't want to risk getting a strike for that bullshit, you know? Close that. My entire time on YouTube, I only got in trouble once for using copyrighted music, and it was totally my fault. I played like 10 seconds of Eye of the Tiger on one of my old 7 Days videos, and Sony claimed half my revenue for that video, which isn't even that bad, you know? They could have took all my revenue. They could have striked my channel. They could have made me take the video down. So instead, they took half my revenue, which, like I said, I considered myself lucky. And I learned my lesson. I don't fucking use any music other than the music YouTube provides me with, you know? I've had people, too, that are like, oh, no, you can use my music for free. And I'm like, nah, no thanks, you know? It's like, I don't know you, <laughs> you know? So, frankly, I don't trust you because there are some motherfuckers out there that'll be like, yeah, you could use my music it's totally free, and then you use it, and they try and claim your revenue, you know? So you gotta be careful. Me, personally... I just stick with the YouTube audio library. Haven't had any problems. What the fuck is going on in here? Oh, some kinky shit. Uh, so I put the land claim block down for now, just in case we do decide maybe we want to live here. I don't know. We can always make a new land claim block. Let's get this cactus out of here before I walk into it. Um, Because I'm just not sure yet what I want to do I think trying to use that riverboat as a base would be fun and interesting so I'd like to do that for one night oh a duster beautiful that's nice I'm sure that riverboat is loaded with zombies so if we go over to it and we clear it out I'm gonna want to put a land claim block down there to oh shit I didn't even see Mo right there um, you know, because I wouldn't want to clear out the riverboat, and then we leave, and we do some shit, then we go back there on night 7, or night 14, or whatever it is, to fight the horde, and, and we realize all the zombies respawned, and then we're fucked, you know? So, whether it's the riverboat, or some other POI, the giant ship, you know? If we clear it out, and we want to use it as a base, I'm gonna want to put a land claim block down there. So that means we can't really use a land claim block for our home. Now, the bedroll also prevents zombie respawns, but it doesn't cover nearly the area that the land claim block does. And just in case you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about right now, the land claim block and the bedroll prevent zombie respawns, not zombie spawns. So, for example, we're clearing all the zombies out of this whorehouse right now, and with the land claim block down, we could go away, we can go across the entire map, and come back here a week later, and there won't be any zombies. But if we didn't put a land claim block down, all the zombies would have respawned inside this place. So, I think what we should do 
is build our home from scratch. Because then, building a home out in the middle of nowhere, where there were no zombies to begin with, we won't have to worry about zombies respawning in our house. And then we can use the land claim block freely, wherever we want, however we want, whenever we want. Well, bathroom's clear. And just in case you don't know, to be clear, you can only have one land claim block down at a time. You obviously just can't put as many as you want down. You put a second one down, then your first one becomes inactive. What the fuck was going on in here now? Damn, I guess anything goes at the slip it in. Knife guy book. Oh, we can make a hunting knife now. Quality one. Hunting knife obsidian? What's that? Oh, hunting knife medusa? What's going on here? Hunting knife, hunting knife medusa, and hunting knife obsidian. So they just look different, or do they perform different? Well, they cost the same amount of resources to make. Even the old, regular old hunting knife costs the same amount of resources, so maybe they're just different skins? I like the look of the medusa. Maybe I'll craft the medusa and the obsidian to see if there's any real difference there in terms of the stats. Not yet, though. I'll wait until we can at least craft a level 2 or 3. Oh, shit! Yo, that guy climbed right over the chair. He must be familiar with the chair doorway game. Skinny Pete is not. Get this thing out of the way. Nothing there. We got a crate. AP-44 ammo. Hey, level 3 pipe shotgun. I wasn't going to craft one of those, but we got one now. Hey, lucky looter goggles. We'll put those on. I'm going to hold on to the new Frontier specs because those give us uh, an XP boost and better crafting time. So it's best to switch between the two, if you remember, which I usually forget. Nice big balcony out here. You know, I wouldn't mind living here, that's for sure. I don't know. Like I said, I'll think about it tonight. And I'll have a plan in the morning. I guess we're done. There wasn't really like a loot room. It was just kind of loot scattered about. I don't see another way to go. Um, we could check around the back of the building. There was a set of stairs on the side of the building where I killed that screamer. Not screamer, uh, spider monkey, I mean. Let me drop some shit off in here first. Uh, that just leads back inside. Got a crapper out here. Nothing. Coffin. Oh, I can't search it. All right, well, I guess that's it. Get out of here. Slip it in's closed. Go slip in somewhere else, bitch. Really? All up in my fucking storage. I'm gonna make, uh... Some writable storage boxes. We can make three with the nails that I found. I'm not gonna put them down yet, though, because... Like I said, I don't think I want to live here. I think I prefer we build our own home. Anyway, plenty of stuff around to harvest, so that's probably what I'm going to do tonight. Just go through this place, pick up what I can, and uh, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day four, and I'll have a plan, and we will execute that plan. God damn it. This is just a popular place, isn't it? I better put a hatch at this door. What the hell? It's fucking snowing out. In the pine forest? Is that normal? It's a little chilly out here. Oh, well. Whatever. Uh, anyway. 
I'm going to go through this place one more time, harvest what I can, and devise a plan for tomorrow, and then we will pick things up on the morning of tomorrow. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more of New Frontier, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.